This is the 2023 Hyundai Nexo Fuel Cell Limited. Powering this hydrogen front wheel drive sport utility vehicle is by three hydrogen fuel tanks measuring about 75 kilowatt hour and also a 40 kilowatt hour battery pack producing a total combined horsepower of 161 and a whopping 295 pound-feet of torque. So you might ask, well, where are the hydrogen batteries located? They're actually located underneath the rear seat and the cargo area. You see the door automatically unlocks like a Tesla and you can go about 354 miles in a single fuel tank. So yeah, this is powered by hydrogen. And I would say the benefit of a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle is that, of course, you can also get the $5,000 California rebate tax credit. And at Tustin Hyundai, you can get it for 15, you can get a fuel card for 15, thousand dollars and you can probably get this for like 30k off it's about 64k i think you can probably get it out of the door for like thirty one thousand dollars a lot of dealers are discounting hydrogen cars and the hydrogen next was only sold in california and i know you can also get it in hawaii there's one charging station in hawaii and 55 here in california So overall, the interior is very, I would say, modern. I'm a big fan of this two-tone steering wheel. And all, overall, the controls are very intuitive, you see? I don't have to, you know, relearn. There's no learning curve. As long as you've been inside a modern 21st century vehicle, this is very intuitive. Check out the eight-speaker Creo audio system. It's like a 400-watt audio system. And overall, the interior is semi-premium. I mean, this is a $60,000, $64,000 vehicle that it can be had for about 29 grand before tax. So I would say it is a good deal. Of course, you have the Hyundai blind spot monitor. I want to tell you a cool fact about this Hyundai Nexo Field. So this is actually the first Hyundai product to have the blind spot view monitor system. This runs the older Hyundai infotainment system. This is a 12.3 inch display, and I believe this is also a 10 inch display. This controls your regenerative braking. It also has this. Let's check if it has sounds of, oh, it does have sounds of nature. Take a listen. show you the menu options so yeah it takes about five minutes to fill up a hydrogen electric vehicle and the fact they can go about 300 to 400 miles in a single tank is quite impressive i mean i think a model y can do like 335 so this is at 357 it's not bad you can get this for 29k and a model y is like 40k it's a good deal actually as long as you live in california or hawaii uh, hawaii only has one charging station available oh it's kind of like a Porsche where the cup holder is positioned right here. So, you know, inspired by Porsche. You do have the parking cameras and parking assist. Let me show you the 360 degree view camera system. You even have a drive mode selector. Yeah, you can go through eco, normal. So yeah, it's only two drive modes. Vehicle setup. So yeah, you do have the parking sensors in this vehicle navigation sound device connections let's hop into the back seat it does have a front trunk but there's no storage there so to the back seat you can actually recline let me see if i can fit comfortably oh you do have a 150 uh, power outlet so you know it's kind of like a vehicle to level charge system oh it's quite a comfortable back seat have rear seat air vents. It's quite comfortable. I mean, I would like heated rear seats and a rear sunshade for $60,000. I mean, I think I could sit here for like a road trip. The headrest is a bit uh, on the hard side. And you do have a coat hooks right over here. Lighting, interesting enough, this does not have a panoramic sunroof, just a traditional sunroof. And like, this is the older style Hyundai key fob. You do have a USB Type-A port here, and in the back, 
you should have i mean i know this card has a usb type c because the main change for the 2024 model year is the addition of a new cabin filtration system and new call a new color i believe the shimmering silver metallic also yeah addition of usb type c ports replacing the majority of the usb type a let's check what we have about 30 cubic feet of storage behind the uh, second row folded down it expands to about 50 cubic feet so it's not as practical as a model y i mean the model y you can get like 70 cubic feet but trust me this is a far more attractive vehicle i'd rather be seen in this in the model y especially the front end is smiling at me i mean this is truly attractive vehicle especially in this dark blue paint and interesting enough it doesn't have a head of display it does have adaptive cruise control and all that good stuff so yeah it's made in korea $64,920. Yep. So you do have an eight way adjustable front seat, but I'll show on the passenger side what kind of seat adjustment we have. I know you're, you're actually going to miss the lumbar support. Yep, just as I expected. It's missing the lumbar support. The seats are perforated. They're pretty comfortable, but headrests are a bit stiff. And this is all a vegan interior. Yeah, you see USB type A, another type A. You have a wireless phone charging pad right over here, more of a bridge design. There's also, you can also control the infotainment, kind of like an iDrive. So if you have driven a BMW, this is pretty intuitive. No auto dimming review mirror. Lastly, let me pop open the front trunk. You might ask, well, who's going to buy this vehicle? Well, obviously, someone who lives in California or Hawaii, someone who is eco-conscious, and they are very busy. They don't want to wait, like, you know, two hours to fill up an electric vehicle. They just want a hydrogen vehicle. And they also want to get the best discounted new car you can get. Because I don't think there's any other new car that's being discounted from a non-luxury brand that you can get for more than, like, 20 k off. Because this is such a good deal. For just $29,000, would you buy it? Well, it sounds pretty tempting. Interesting enough, in a used Hyundai Nexo like this, for t about like 9,000 miles, it's about like, what, 13K? So they depreciate very fast. And overall, this is a good vehicle. I will give it like a B rating. Thank you for watching.